Hello, my name is Mark Koopman, Executive Director with Hoosier Burn Camp. I hope that as you watch this video, you find yourself, your loved ones, your whole family members healthy, happy, and safe right now. Uh, 2020 has been a very interesting year, to say the least. It'll be a year that'll be discussed and, and talked about for years to come. It actually started off in tremendous fashion. Uh, we had one of our largest groups ever for our winter teen adventure trip in Wisconsin. Just a few weeks later, we had well over 200 people for our 16th annual winter gathering. And then just a few weeks later, we were able to celebrate our fifth annual masquerade gala ball that took place in Indianapolis. And then it seems almost like another year, but at the beginning of March, we had well over 60 staff members, both past members and potentials that gathered together at Camp Tecumseh in anticipation of our 22nd annual Hoosier Burn Camp. And then things changed. Um, we felt we were very nimble right off the bat. At the very beginning of April, on the 3rd, as a matter of fact, we transitioned to virtual programming. And from April 3rd until present time, we've had well over 50 gatherings that have included uh, uh, campers, both past and present, volunteer staff members and supporters. And some of the things that we've done, just not limited to, but we've had alumni gatherings, we've done bedtime stories, We've had Facebook Live events such as beekeeping and mindfulness, some campfire stories, pre-recorded craft instructions, parent cafes, workouts, tea time with Taylor, yoga, and we were even fortunate to have some special events like the one we had with the general manager, Chris Ballard of the Indianapolis Colts, where he gave us dedicated time for a question and answer. We put together a camp advisory committee uh, we postponed our, our camp, as all of you know, at the very end of May. And the Camp Advisory Committee was put together to see if we could gather again. Um, at the very end of the summer or early fall, we met a couple times virtually and came to the conclusion um, that we would go ahead and ca officially cancel the gathering together of this year's Hoosier Burn Camp. Um, but the good news, we're gathering together at the very end of July. We're having our very first virtual camp. We've had a dedicated crew that have been framing together purposeful programming, uh, putting together items that we'll send in care packages out to our campers. And we'd like to thank all of our supporters, especially the folks that subsidize the cost of some of those items, be able to send out to our children. And even though we won't be able to get together face to face, we're having Hoosier Burn Camp this year at the very end of July. I know some other programs that we had in anticipation of the summer. Uh, we've decided to go ahead and cancel officially. But transitioning into the fall, our hope is that we can gather maybe for our Kings Island outing or some other outings. Um, time will tell. And so please stay tuned. Uh, follow us on our website, on our social media pages, our Facebook page. And we'll keep you updated on all of the wonderful things that will continue to take place throughout the course of this year. I just want to tell each and every one of you, uh, I hope you truly understand how much I love you and I miss you. Um, I'm looking forward to the moment in the days where we can get together I can give you a big hug. Um, we can share stories face to face. But until then, I'm looking forward to seeing many of you at the very end of July and, and keep staying tuned in for some of our virtual programs as well. This is Mark Koopman telling you once again, I love you and I hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.